What is Dream Glow and what makes it special? Dream Glow is a physically based glow macro that's optimized for performance. If you want to see it used in some edits, I linked some in the description. To be linked in the description, just say made using Dream Glow and tag me in your video and I'm excited to see what you made. First of all, to install the macro, go to the link in the description and put the setting files in your macro folder. If you don't know where that is, there is an easy way to get there. Click on Fusion, go to Effects, click Tools and scroll down until you see Macros. Select it and click on the three dots and select Show Folder. That's where you want to paste them. When finished, press Shift Space and search for Dream Glow 2. Let's go over the settings really quick. This is a Luma keyer that you can use to change the glow areas. You can use the Glow Only tick box to preview where exactly it's glowing. Below that are the main glow settings. Exposure is the brightness of the glow, and radius is how far the glow will reach. Now, if your glow looks weird like that, just bring up the quality. More on that later. Instead of how far it reaches, spread changes where the glow will be bright. If you bring it down, the glow will be really bright close to the source. If you bring it up, it will be brighter on the outer parts. It's faster than radius, so you can use it to cheat a bigger radius and save some performance. The technical term is gamma, by the way. The quality slider is how many steps the glow will have. Lower quality means faster render time, but higher quality looks better, especially on a higher radius. Just play with it and see how much you need. Also, if you are not on DaVinci Resolve 19 and don't have the switch node, you won't have this setting. It will always run on full quality. To change the tint, tick the Enable Tint box. Clicking on the arrow will give you this color picker. If you click on the color itself, it will bring up a different type where you can even save color presets or try some of the pre-installed ones. You can also select a color from an image using the eyedrop icon, but make sure to preview the image before the glow, otherwise it can cause crashes. You can use the output depth to change the color depth the glow will output. It will always work with the highest color depth internally, but changing the color depth to int 8 will reduce banding on the output and make it look better on standard monitors. If you make YouTube videos, activating this setting can help because YouTube also uses 8-bit for most videos. However, if you use the glow for high dynamic range footage or compositing, 32 float is recommended. Glow mode and glow composite can be used to change how the glow looks on bright parts. Setting both to normal will make the highlights look intense and allow for super bright values. Setting them to screen will lower the highlights and give a really pleasing soft result. Setting them to normal and screen can give you in-between looks. Process can be used to change the glow's transparency. Per default, alpha is disabled, which means the glow is fully transparent. If you enable alpha, the glow will have a dark solid shadow below it. This can be useful to make the glow stand out more. And it's something a lot of people do anyway with a drop shadow, so here you can get that instantly. That's it. This is only version 2, and I might add more versions later on. To not miss them, make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for the support and the feedback. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one.